Welcome back. Toronto's International Film Festival rolls out the red carpet in less than a week. Usually that makes Toronto party central. Maybe not so much this year. CBC's Stephen D'Souza is live at the festival's box office right now. That's right. You can see the lineup for tickets behind me. And starting next week when the Film Fest begins, those people will be lining up as well to see all the celebrities that will be coming to town. Those movie stars will also be hitting the Film Festival party circuit. And the party circuit is feeling a bit of the economic pinch this year. Many parties this year will be scaled back or won't be quite as lavish as they used to be. I had a chance to speak to an event planner who's done parties for everyone from Brad Pitt and Matt Damon to Penelope Cruz. And he says many are feeling the economic pinch in terms in terms of working with a budget, they're working within a smaller budget than they have in years before, trying to get the most bang for their buck, but they're still trying to deliver the Film Fest experience. You might do um, a cocktail reception and then a plated dinner, and then after the dinner you do a lavish dessert buffet, they're skipping that kind of stuff. They're sort of saying, you know what, do we really need you know, the dessert stations at 11 o'clock? You know, do we really need, uh, when you're doing the past canapes earlier, do we need to do, you know, a, sh uh, a fresh uh, shellfish station? They're looking at those things and saying, you know, maybe this year isn't the year to do that. Now, of course, obviously, cutting back by Film Fest party standards isn't quite the same as cutting back would be for you and I, but it still means a lot to the bottom line for all the businesses surrounding the Film Festival. Now, coming up at 5.30, I'll speak to a, a man who gets to rub shoulders with all of those celebrities and get to parties that we could only dream of, and he says even though we're in some tough economic times, the stars will still be shining. Now, those new numbers might help explain a new phenomenon at this year's Film Fest. For the first time in recent memory, many of TIFF's parties being scaled down. Stephen D'Souza joins us now live from outside the Film Fest venues on King Street with that story. Stephen. Even Film Fest and celebrities can escape tough economic times. Now, scaled back by Film Fest standards, is still pretty good for most of us non-celebrities. Uh, many party planners are working with tighter budgets, yet still being asked to deliver all the glitz and glamour that comes with the Film Fest. I spoke with one planner who gave me the example of a party where they might have beef tenderloin for dinner instead of having lobster and oysters and all the other fancy things that celebrities are used to. Now, other party planners are saying they're tying their events into charities to help bolster their causes and as well give the appearance that they're not spending lavishly during tough economic times. Uh, one example of that is the Amfar Gala, which is taking place on the 15th, and that's a big AIDS of uh, charity that usually, usually took place at the Cannes Film Festival, but is coming to Toronto for the first time. Earlier I spoke with uh, National Post social columnist and man about town, Shanano Gavani, who gets to go to many of these Film Fest parties, and he says that even though some of them may, may be scaled back, many people love to live vicariously through these celebrities, so organizers will still try to put their best foot forward. I think uh, the festival will be one of the signs that the economic situation is turning around. I think uh, the expectations to some extent are low, but they're going to be exceeded, I think. I think there's a lot of things uh, trickling uh, and, and we're going we're gonna to see stuff. Now coming up at 6 o'clock we'll take a look inside one of the suites at the Four Seasons where some of those celebrities may be staying and also tell you why, why Charlize Theron may have to settle for something less than the best champagne on the house. Reporting live from King Street, I'm Stephen D'Souza. The economy is also taking some of the champagne out of the party that is TIFF. The Toronto International Film Festival gets underway next week, and the parties attached to it are usually pretty lavish. CBC's Stephen D'Souza is live now at the festival box office on King Street with how it's looking this year. That's right. The parties in the film festival are all about the red carpet and lavish parties, but even celebrities aren't immune from tough, tough economic times. It's Film Fest time, so there will be glamour and, of course, glitz. But while some parties will still be lavish, there's a new word in the TIFF schmooze vocabulary this year, and that's responsible. Sebastian Sentner is running about 11 parties at the Film Fest. He says this year, while things may look expensive, look closer. For example, when Charlize Theron this year is uh, sipping a champagne cocktail, well, instead of being, you know, Veuve Clicquot, which it would have been last year, this year it's sparkling wine with a splash of, you know, whatever liqueur to make it into a, uh, a cocktail. He says that's because when it comes to spending, just like in showbiz, appearance matters. If you don't want to look like you're throwing too lavish a party given the fact that we're still you know in not the best of economic times people will want to see you know the impact Matt Damon's one by one charity won't be holding a lavish gala this year instead they're doing a concert featuring Mary J Blige and a private dinner those changing tastes are something the staff at the Four Seasons have to be ready to cater to they now have a five-night minimum stay instead of seven 
and some of the excess has been scaled back. Last year, to give you an example, we had a $100 cocktail uh, that, we, uh, that we pitched throughout the festival in a Swarovski glass and with diamonds studded. We're not doing any of that this year. National Post social columnist and author Shanann Govani says while things may be toned down by Film Fest standards, having the stars on the red carpet here will still be a big boost. You know, if we wanted a stimulus package, the Toronto Film Festival is definitely one for Toronto. Now, organizers say when it comes to us regular non-celebrity types, they're hoping that most Film Fest goers won't see a noticeable difference, and they say that government grants have actually helped them offer more free and accessible programming. Reporting live from King Street, I'm Stephen D'Souza.